Alright guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. Today I want to take LR Metal Cooler into uh, Wicked Bloodline Extreme Super Battle Road. So, I mean, this is a stage that could still, I think, be quite difficult depending upon the situations. Um, and I think that LR Metal Cooler is actually going to be an outstanding um, Super Battle Road unit, right? One thing about Metal Cooler is that he's on a lot of very small niche not too great category teams, right? Um, which is really going to allow him to be very effective um, as we get more stages and more extreme Super Battle Road stages, right? Things like Artificial Life Form, Target, Goku, Revenge, Power Absorption, right? Crota Body and Mind, like this guy, even like Revived Warriors, you could go back and do that stage and destroy it. This guy will dominate like all these stages, right? Um, his heals can be really powerful. I mean, if you're going to run like a full Wicked Bloodline team in any of the stages you potentially could do it in, he is going to heal so much that, you know, as maybe like a free-to-play player or something like that, you could focus on just using defensive items and you're going to be completely good to go. Now, one other thing he does that's actually pretty good for Super Battle Road he does greatly lower enemy attack, right? Which we can take advantage of here. Let's go ahead and we will greatly lower um, Bardock's attack right there just to make sure that he can't absolutely obliterate Cooler. And then we'll do this. All right, so what is LR Metal Cooler? What are we at defensively? We're at 321 right there. Remember that he does build up. As he gets hit, he is going to build up um, key defense um, and attack as well. All right, so we're going to eat this. Now, one thing about uh, using LR Metal Cooler in these Super Battle Road stages that we do want to keep in mind, right? Uh, but he's greatly lowering Bardock's attack right here, which is very helpful. A greatly lower attack buff is, is really, really good. Um, but one thing to keep in mind about Metal Cooler is he does have that sort of like uh, uh, physical uh, nullification, right? Um, you know, he has a 70% chance to nullify... Um, like melee supers or unarmed supers or whatever is that we want to call it so that can be pretty useful in stages uh, honestly that are having like more recent sort of like units right um because most of the og characters right their super attacks are just them doing some generic like you know i usually like the 2015 kamehameha right like that's what most of these attacks are so for super battle road stages um, you're better off having like an LR Janemba or an Android's Key Blast nullification. Um, that certainly would be a little bit more effective, I think, right? Uh, we'll just do this right here, just so that we can quickly get through this stage. Um, but Metal Cooler 2, the other thing about him, remember, is that he is a Carnival LR, which means he has a true 200% leader skill to the entire team. This Wicked Bloodline stage of Extreme Super Battle Road is a great stage. This is like a great showcase stage in terms of how hard these units, like these enemies can hit. Um, but it just goes to show how, you know, we get all these really powerful options, right? LR Golden Frieza, LR Final Form Cooler, right? We have a bunch of other EZA type cooler characters. And now, like this stage just gets fodderized by these characters, right? Like, you know, so many of these really powerful LRs are also lowering attack. Final Form Cooler, Golden Frieza, and Metal Cooler, all three of them, sort of like the, the three-headed dragon of Wicked Bloodline, is all debuffing the enemy. Um, and then remember, the other really good thing here, did we get the seal? No, okay. King Cold can seal. We did not get that, but that's fine. Um, let's actually just try and get rid of this Vegeta right here, uh, so that he's not able to hit um, King Cold, and we should be good. Now, I don't I'm not really too worried about Final Form Cooler and King Cold in this rotation. Metal Cooler could die right here, right? Um, oh, no, he cannot. <laughs> I was type disadvantaged. No, he cannot die. Now, okay, okay, sure. <laughs> Never mind. Nah, he ain't dying. <laughs> That's type disadvantage, bro. Now, King Cold passively debuffed the enemies, right? We, we do an... Oh, bye, Vegeta. See you in hell. <laughs> oh, yeah. well, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, well, maybe, like, we get, like, super attack, like, two or three times, then he could die, but he just, you know, I, I, 300k, that's all? Yeah, well, sorry, buddy. <laughs> that's, uh, not really too much of a threat. Yeah, King Cold is an insane extreme Super Battle Road sort of, like, uh, little support unit to tack on right here. Um, he debuffs the enemies. 
Uh, and then he also could potentially seal. Oh, King Cold Seal. I think he can only do that when it freezes on rotation, actually, which we don't have. Okay, Cooler. We got Final Form Cooler. Is that four supers right there? But, you know, dude, my Cooler has 25 crit, I think. So he has a 50% chance to crit on all these hits. And he, of course he's not doing it. Cooler, come on, bruh. Come on. Um, so, yeah. If an enemy would manage to kill Metal Cooler, we could uh, revive and heal all that off. But uh, <laughs> they weren't—they weren't able to really damage him so much. I'm—I'm I'm actually—I'm very impressed that Metal Cooler ate that for 300k. I, I just like that's—that's that's a pretty impressive sort of tank job by him. 300k type disadvantage in this stage. These guys hit tough. It, it just goes to show how, you know, the gradual power creep, man. It, you know, it's a thing. It really does explode. Um, this is a stage that was incredibly monstrously difficult um, only a, a few short months ago. And now this is a stage that we could just fodderize very easy with, with some of these newer characters, right? So uh, definitely impressive. Now, we did eat 300k damage. Oh, no. You know, 300k. What are we ever going to do? Um, we'll just heal it back. Uh, you know, like, at, at the start of every turn, he's healing 10%, and then if HP's 50%, we get another 10%. He gets 10% at the end of the turn if he gets hit. And then we get, like, you know, we catch our rhythm, and then before we know it, we're running double, um, you know, metal coolers, and we're just heal We're actually out healing the damage that these enemies can pretty much do to us, right? And especially... Um, once, like, the metal coolers get built up, right, they have to take four hits to fully build up. Once fully built up, it's just like, yeah, we're, we're done playing games. The only issue, I mean, I, I think LR Metal Cooler, you know, in terms of his design, they could have given him more. Um, I feel like uh, a guaranteed additional super would have been good or a scouter. Um, something along those lines, I think, would have really solidified LR Metal Cooler. Um, but he certainly does struggle for key, I think, at times. Key, compared to some other top LRs, um, I, I think key can be a bit of an issue for Metal Cooler, right? That, that, that's just, that's one thing I have noticed. Okay, um, I guess we'll just, let's just shoot him right out in front, right? Like, no reason to be scared right here. This is full level 10 links. Not full level 10 links, but it is a rainbowed cooler, though. Um, you know, I, I, yeah, I, I... I, I wish people could grind it up, but at least it's a rainbow friend on the friends list. Um, even if all three of them super attacked, I don't think they could kill Metal Cool. I really don't. Like, all, if Goku, Vegeta, and Trunks all super attacked at the start, I, pfft, I don't think it matters. Like, he's just like he's just gonna tear right through Trunks. Number one, um, super do something, anything. No, okay. Yeah, that's it's, dude. It, it just it does show. These characters designed for the highest tier of content. So, like, we're talking about characters who are designed to fight Red Zone Broly, you know, Red Zone Metal Cooler Core, Cell Max, right? These level of characters designed for that. Man, we, we really could take them into sort of, like, other content, and they just run wild in there, right? Like, just absolutely crazy. Um, I do want to keep in mind that King Cold was uh, debuffing them as well. Um, oh, King Cold got his seal off. Oh, I noticed that a little late. Oh, no. Damn, y'all had no hope. Yeah, goat cold right there. That's what that is. <laughs> Dude, I love I, these little showcases in Wicked Bloodline Extreme Super Battle. World, I love rocking King Cold, man. He's just so, he's so fun to use when, you know, we have characters like Final Form Cooler, Golden Freeze, and Metal Cooler just disintegrating everything. And then King Cold just gives us, like, a nice little uh, casual sort of, like, like buff right there. Oh, here, have a little support. I'm going to debuff the enemy. And then, oh, medium chance to seal the enemy and then just guarantee that you win. Right? Like, oh, thanks. Thanks, King Cold. I appreciate that, buddy. <laughs> oh, Vegeta, hang in there, buddy. <laughs> Go ahead, Super. What are you going to do? You can't. They literally can't even hurt us. It's, they can't even do damage. What is this? Right? Like, yeah, uh, do damage, man. Keep your head up. <laughs> oh, 
All right, we're done. Uh, let me know what you guys think of LR Metal Cooler. One thing I am pretty excited for is these Carnival LRs to see um, what categories they're constantly going to be leading. Because giving 200% to, you know, some of these sort of like smaller or niche categories can be very good, right? Not only to get extra characters, 200% leader skills who need them, but also just to make some missions and stages a lot easier as well, right? Like, you know, especially you could run this metal cooler and you have all the free-to-play metal coolers and then before you know it, any corroded body and mind mission is just really not that bad the way it once was right which can happen so there we go that was a pretty casual no item run not only is that a no item run but we literally finished with max hp we didn't even take one hp of damage uh that's what happens when you're rocking double lr metal cooler we we don't even take one one hp of damage beautiful I, you have to love it. I, I love it. You gotta love it. 